Hello everyone and welcome to another uh, tutorial. Uh, today I want to investigate more and teach you more about branching and branching is very important in make uh, in cases where you want to have uh, different situations or different uh, scenarios uh, happening uh, under certain condition. So for branching, we use mainly routers to do that. Let's investigate how to do so. We will start by creating a new scenario. Uh, we will name it. So let's name it routers. Okay, so I'll start with always setting up a variable. Uh, I'm going to name it var1. Uh, let's leave it without anything right now and uh let's call let's uh, let's uh, let's have this variable be uh my name is jack and my email is jack at uh, gmail.com for example okay so we now have a variable so uh, let's imagine the way the reason why I start with a variable because this can be anything. It could be uh, getting information from your Google spreadsheet, getting information from your RSS feed, getting information from a webhook, anything. It could be anything. Uh, what I want to do is now a branch. So the way to do that is you click on flow control and you get into routers. So what a router is, uh, it's a way to. Um, to handle several uh, cases. So if you click by this plus, it will generate two paths, first and second. So let me uh, create both uh, uh, variables here, create new variables. So var uh, case two, and we'll do another one here and set variable var case three. Okay, so uh, as you see now, let's uh, run this and let's have the variable here, variable there, and let's run this scenario. Now we have two branches, right? As you can see, uh, make ran both 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 of the branches. So so the first one and the second one, and this is the normal behavior because. There is no filters here, so uh, the way make runs this is goes to first and then goes to second, but it will run both of them. Now, in case you want the the whole reason for branching is to have uh, multiple uh, like uh, condition or filters where uh, if if something is here, then only run here. If something is here, then only run here. Then you need to create a filter. So this, for example, we'll we'll uh, we'll do a contain and we'll grab the ver first one. Say uh, at Gmail, right? Now we put a filter that if var1 contains uh, gmail then it will let it pass through so let's run this of course it ran both and if you click the filter you say here var contains gmail correct now it ran the second one and it's not uh, always keep that in mind that if you want to have branches that run under different circumstances do not leave the second one without a condition because it will run anyways so the first uh, the second one it it would uh, it would be does not contain gmail now if we run this you can see that the filter the first one is has a one it passed through and the second one doesn't have anything it didn't pass because uh, the, because we we do have the word G, at gmail so this is why it didn't pass and this is how we're branching so now the only first branch runs the second branch does not run uh, now you could have as many branches as you like with here and this is what makes uh, this whole automation or make a very very powerful platform uh, and then first second third fourth and uh, as you go 
right? Uh, so basically, this is this is basically branching in a nutshell that you have to keep in mind if you don't have filters it will run both uh, and if you put filters put filters on all of them because the, because if there's a branch you don't put filter on it will run it anyways now let me explain something else is here we have var case 2 right now in case we want to access any variable in this branch in here so let me remove this uh, this condition here so now it will run anyways right now I want to use the get variable which is something that no, normally not a lot of people use uh, people usually set variables okay so now I want to get var case one which is in the first branch right let's run this there you go so here so uh, var case two is uh, of course we because we set it in here we can we uh, we can say um, let's say hello there just so we know that it's different okay let's run this there you go now we have access to var case one which is in the first branch usually when you run this in separate branches anything you do here you don't have access in the other branch so you cannot reference them but now since we have uh, since we brought this uh, in here that way we can access this in here in then in another node so if we do set variable in here and we name this new and then it will be var case 2 okay so now we have var case 2 which is in here we have it in this branch uh, so that we can access it okay so uh, get get variable is very important when you're doing with multiple branches because it's uh, a, a, it, it, it gets you the variables or anything that you're working on in this branch in here in case you want it so to recap branching is a very powerful way in order to uh, filter out or have different cases that are run uh, make sure if you don't if you don't set any filters both both branches or all branches will run no matter how many branches you have in case you want to set filters make sure you set filters on all of them because because it will if you set it on one it will run the second one for sure uh, also another one is um, uh, if you want to access variables in the first branch use the get variables in the second branch to access the anything any variables in the first branch all right hopefully that was beneficial as usual i will leave some links in the, the description box for you that will be useful for you guys make sure to check them out and if you like uh, this video uh, give it a like subscribe for more videos i really appreciate you uh, watching these these tutorials and see you in the next one